Welcome to Level Learning, a Flowline video training series. Hello again, this is Mark with Flowline bringing you our Level Learning series. And today I want to discuss range, tank height, fill height, and dead band. Understanding this terminology will assist in the selection and configuration of an ultrasonic sensor. We have made setup easy using real world measurements of the tank. So let's get started. First, let's talk about range. Range is defined as the maximum measurement distance of the sensor. Most transmitters are offered in two to three different ranges. When selecting a sensor range, make sure the maximum range is not less than the tank height. Choose a sensor that has a range at least as tall as the tank doubling the sensor range to add margin against higher temperatures, condensation, and turbulence is recommended. Now let's talk about tank height, fill height, and riser height. Tank height is defined as the distance from the installed face of the transducer down to the bottom of the tank. This is where the 4 milliamp set point will be placed. 4 milliamps will then equal tank empty. Fill height is defined as the distance from the bottom of the tank up to the maximum desired liquid height within the tank. This is where the 20 milliamp set point will be placed. 20 milliamps then equals tank full. If a riser is being used, then you will need to add the riser height to your tank height measurement. Riser height is defined as the distance from the face of the transducer to the top of the tank. Dead band is defined as the minimum distance from the face of the transducer from which the sensor can measure. Liquid level should never be allowed to rise into the sensor's dead band. To eliminate conflicts, the dead band is automatically subtracted from the fill height. For example, if the sensor range is 295 inches with an 8 inch dead band, the maximum fill height would be 287 inches. We get 287 inches by subtracting the 8 inch dead band from our total sensor range of 295 inches. So let's put this all together. First, we're going to select a sensor that has an appropriate range based on our tank height and application variables. Second, we're going to input our tank height and fill height set points, which will span our 4 to 20 milliamp output. And third, well, you're done. It's that simple. Thanks for learning with Flowline. Please visit Flowline.com for more level learning videos. At Flowline, we do your level best.